You want to lose weight. You want to get in shape, look good, feel great. But why is it so flipping hard to do? Why do so many people struggle to lose weight? I know I struggled to lose weight for the longest time. It took me so much effort and hard work and failure upon failure until I finally did lose weight and achieve the, the right body weight. Why is it so hard to get in shape and to lose weight? It's not because of exercise and it's not because of food. Too many people start losing weight the wrong way. They try to eat the perfect diet and do the right exercises and then they find that they fall off the track and they don't lose the weight that they want to lose. Why? It's because weight loss doesn't begin on your plate. It doesn't begin in the gym. Weight loss begins in your mind. Now I'm going to show you some excellent meditation techniques that you can use to lose weight just by changing your mindset. And when you do these meditation techniques, you're going to find that even if your motivation is not perfect, and even if you've uh, been struggling to hit the gym or struggling to eat the perfect diet up to now, you're going to find that after doing these meditations, your mindset's totally different and everything is so much easier. Weight loss becomes a breeze. So what meditation techniques am I going to show you? There are a few different ones. I'm going to show you my favorite weight loss meditations. And you can find more techniques via this channel, The Daily Meditation. So hit subscribe and via our blog, thedailymeditation.com. So the first meditation, guys, that I want to show you for losing weight is a fun one. You're going to love this because I'm going to tell you, go and get your favorite junk food. Whatever it is that you eat, yes, I am giving you permission to get this right now. Go grab yourself a tasty donut, chocolate bar, hamburger, whatever it is. Go, go, go. Now, take your tasty food out of its wrapper and hold it in your hand. And now take 10 relaxing breaths through your nose. while you hold this food. Now, I want you to become, become aware of what is going on in your mind. You're holding this tasty, delicious, juicy uh, donut or, or candy or chocolate in your, in, in your hand. And this food in your hand is putting thoughts and feelings in your mind. Now, what are the thoughts and feelings in your mind? Be aware of them. Can you see them? Can you hear your thoughts? Can you feel the feelings going through your mind right now? Now, I want you to say to yourself, this is just a thought. This is just a feeling. Anything that's going through your mind, just tell yourself, this is just going through my mind. Have you done that? Now take a bite of that donut or that chocolate bar and again, notice what's going through your mind. Thoughts, feelings, etc. Tell yourself, these are just thoughts and feelings, they're not real. Now I want you to imagine that you're throwing those thoughts and feelings aside. They're gone. You're no longer going to feel that way that you feel about those foods that you keep eating, that you wish you weren't eating, but you keep eating anyway. You're not going to feel those things anymore. Throw the food away. Throw the food away. And at the same time, tell yourself, my thoughts on that are gone. Now that is a quick way to train your mind, to start to think differently about the food that you're eating. And that's just one meditation technique that you can use to lose weight. Meditation, guys, is massive for weight loss. Science has proven that there are many, many different ways in which meditation will help with your weight loss. For instance, do you suffer from emotional eating? 
Maybe you get stressed or you feel depressed or you feel anxious. And you, the first thing that you want in those situations is a chocolate bar or a donut or, or a pizza or whatever. You want a comfort eat. Do you experience that? Do you suffer from that problem? If so, science has proven that meditation will A, reduce the symptoms of anxiety, depression, stress, and those other things that make you want to eat. And B, it will also make you more able to control those cravings when you do experience them. Now, that's one way in which meditation helps with weight loss. There are other ways too. For instance, did you know that meditation will change your, your basal metabolic rate? Now, your basal metabolic rate is the rate at which your body assimilates uh, nutrients. So, for instance, if you've been stressed or you've been anxious or, or feeling negatively, that's going to influence your basal metabolic rate and it's going to interfere with your body's ability to break down and assimilate food. However, when you meditate, fascinatingly, you improve your basal metabolic rate. So your body is more able to break down and assimilate food. And that has a massive influence on your ability to lose weight. Another amazing thing that meditation will do for your weight loss is that it will stop your cravings specifically by improving a, a specific part of your brain. Now, if you suffer from food cravings and you find that you're not able to control them properly, that's to do with a specific part of your brain. It's called the anterior cingulate cortex. And that part of your brain controls your self-regulation. So for instance, if you've got bad habits, if you, if you smoke uh, or drink too much or indeed eat too much, then that's a situation which is heavily inf influenced by your anterior cingulate cortex. Now, thankfully, meditation improves and strengthens that part of your brain. So even if you don't exercise and you don't intentionally try to eat healthy, healthier food, just by meditating, you will strengthen the part of your brain that governs your self-regulation. So you will naturally have more self-control and you will be far more able to, to stick to your diet, to control cravings and to have the motivation to lose weight. Just by meditating, even if you don't try to do anything else, even if you just spend 10 minutes a day sitting down, focusing on, on your breath, without doing any of the diet or any of the exercise, you will still lose weight. Isn't that absolutely amazing? Just the fact that you can lose weight without even really trying, just by meditating. Now, there are some other tips that I'd like to share with you about how to use meditative techniques to lose weight. So here are three excellent ways to use meditative style techniques to lose weight. Number one, number one is what yogis call Pratyahara Yoga. Now, that's a really technical, beautiful name, Pratyahara, sounds awesome. But it's also very simple. What it is, is it's controlling the negative influences in your life. So for instance, do you find that there are some people that when you're around them, you have a tendency to eat bad or to drink too much? If so, reduce the amount of time that you're spending with those people. Or, better solution, find ways to spend time with those people, but without having it interfere with your weight loss. Another example is, let's say you constantly take the same route to work. And on that way to work, you pass Tim Hortons or Starbucks or wh whatever your favorite coffee place is. And sometimes you just can't help but stop and go in and have a donut and have a coffee. You wish you didn't, but you do. What's the solution? Simple. Go the other way to work. Go the other route so you don't pass that, that fast food place or that, that coffee place. And you're not tempted to break your diet rules. So with Pratyahara Yoga, you're changing the influences in your life. So you're not so, uh, you're not around negative sources. You're not around temptations. 
Uh, other examples include throwing all the all your junk food out right now, spending more time around positive people who will actually motivate you to lose weight, removing stress from your life. So with pratyahara, what you're going to do is reduce the negative sources and and negative influences and and increase the positives, and that's going to have a profound effect on your weight loss because it will naturally improve your positivity and provide motivation and support for you. Another technique, which is an excellent thing to do, is to go and grab a healthy piece of food and to eat it very slowly and mindfully. So if you have an apple and you're eating an apple, I don't know why I'm simulating eating an apple, I'm sure you are aware of how to eat. Um, <laughs> eat very slowly and very mindfully, meditate on that piece of healthy food. Be more appreciative of it. Look at the colors. Look at the composition of the food. Really be aware of everything that's in that healthy food because then you're going to be more appreciative and more grateful for healthy food and you're going to want to eat more of it. So that's the second way in which you can use meditation to lose weight. And the third way is simply by focusing on your breath. Focusing on your breath is a beautiful, easy, and also how so healthy thing to do. When you meditate on your breath, you relax your mind and you let go of those thoughts, those negative stresses and things that can interfere with your ability to lose weight and to achieve the perfect body. So spend 10 minutes a day meditating on your breath. So to recap, Eat healthy food in a mindful way. Reduce negative influences in your life and increase the positive influences in your life. And take 10 minutes a day just to chill out, just to relax. You're probably so busy that stress gets up on you. Give yourself the time to relax. You deserve that. And when you do these things, weight loss is going to become so much easier. I'm Paul from The Daily Meditation. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, remember to subscribe and vote up. I truly appreciate all your support. Thank you so much.